Oh, here's a big one. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, dude. These rocks are dripping wet. We're almost past these breaking waves. Almost. What's up guys? We're out on the rocks today and we're gonna go bounce some weights in between some rocks. We're gonna go all up in the crevices and look for little creatures, whatever they are. Could be crab, could be fish, could be big giant eels, but we'll see. I'm out with Fishman's Life today. All up in the crevices, <laughs> go! Let's go. All right, man, we're out on the rocks. I have my camera on. I tied on a little dropper loop and just a little weight. Get this down to the bottom and it's gonna be swinging around, hopefully in some crevices and get something to bite. And there's actually a bunch of crevices in between all these rocks. And I'm just gonna drop in between these rocks here and hopefully see something down there. You guys hear that horn behind me, it's, it's blaring. It's one of those horns to remind boaters that may be coming in in bad weather that there's rocks around here. Oh, it's going deep in there. It's going deep in there. Could be rock crab in here, could be fish, could be giant eels. Are you snagged? Oh, Matt's a snagged over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No? Huh? Huh? You got a fish? Uh-oh. I'm snagged too, dude. Huh? I'm snagged too. Oh, I got a fish on. Big one. Yeah? Oh, oh, okay. Oh. No, 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 I just got unsnagged. 100%? That's got an eel already. All right, Matt's is still over there. Let's actually hop to this rock. Whoa. And then let's try right here. Here's a kelp crab that's tucked in one of these crevices. And right next to it, it looks like there's a sea cucumber right there. These rocks look so good. It looks like there could be a deep ledge under here because this one's just flat. You know something's under there. It's like such a perfect hiding spot. See how deep this goes. Really not that deep. You really want to find those regions where it's deeper. There it is. Oh, there's something. That was something. And here's what happened underwater. Did you see the fish chase the bait? Look, this Kavlon just inhales my bait and sits there. 
And so you won't even know that a fish has your bait. There's something over here. There's something over there, over in that rock. I'm gonna drop it right back down to it. And look at this, it has my bait in its mouth again. Inhaled it and just sat on it. So again, no idea that the fish is on right now. Just got it. What is that? It looked like a small rockfish. What is that? It looked like a gopher or something. I saw a little bit of orangish brown. There, there, right there. Get it out there deeper. There's a bunch of rock formations here. You can see that one, those right there. Oh, come on, where's that fish? Where'd you go? I know you're still in there. All right, I'm gonna wait another minute or two right here. I don't find it. I'm just gonna poke around a little in a little different spot. All right, man, that wasn't a minute, but I'm over waiting for him. Uh, we're out here trying to get this footage for you guys, man. Mass just lost his phone and his camera. Oh, I feel so bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm snagged too. Okay, scary. All right, my weight just got snagged. Now the good thing about fishing like this is that if you can't find fish in one spot, you could definitely move. And there's so many different holes to try. Woo, that looks like a good fish. Wow, huge cabbie. Huge cabbie? Huge lean cod. Oh man, this guy just caught a huge lean cod. Oh, it's stuck. Let's see, you mind being on camera? Come on, man. It's huge, like, I don't know, huge. Let's see it. You want me to help you get it? Oh, it's stuck in there? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. That's huge. Oh. It took me under. Oh, no. Oh. It's huge, man. No, I saw it. It was, it's boom, boom, boom. It was, it was a good fish. Oh man, I feel, oh, that guy just had a big fish on. He said that link hot head was like that big. Took him under a rock and he couldn't pull it up. Snapped the line. Man, I mean, it looked like a good fish, honestly. I saw, I saw him fighting the fish and you could tell when it's a good fish. And so I was like, wow, what good fish? And he's like, huge link hot. Like what? Ran over there. Unfortunately, I mean, you could see it dragged him under, under a little crevice, just like this just like this and then you know he was stuck in no way he's pulling that thing out he said he said not without a gaff like that's all I, where i am oh there it is Oh, that's a fish. That's a, oh, that's a cabbie. cabbie huh? Yeah. Oh, man, we got a cabbie. That's a nice cabbie. Woo. I don't think I got that on GoPro, but that's a nice one. That was cool how I was swimming. Is it a keeper? Let's measure. You have a measuring tape? Uh, I'll, probably, I'll probably let him go. It's nice. Look at the colors on this guy. Beautiful cabs on right here. Beautiful colors on it. It's blue. Let's let him go quick. And seeing this was so surprising because I'm pretty sure this was the exact same cabazon that took my bait earlier. Same colors and same size. Got some. Tiny little rock.
rockfish. This is looks like a like a brown distinguishing factor. They have this spot right there. There we go. And this is what I love so much about this footage. We're getting an unprecedented point of view that we could never ever see, even if you're diving. Because what we're seeing here is in these cracks and crevices that you can't even fit your head in. And so only because we have a small camera attached to a line can we get down into these places and explore. And this gives you an idea of why jetties and places like this are nurseries to baby rockfish and juvenile fish because they have so many hiding spaces like this all down in these crevices where the majority of things can't reach like seals they can't get down there and eat these guys and i have no idea what this thing is on the left it pops out kind of looks like a little rasp but i'm not sure we see things like scallops that actually looks like a scallop, potentially. And we can see deep down in these crevices that there's a bunch of juvenile rockfish that grow up over here. All right, I think that's about it, We're calling it. Had a few hours to explore the jetty around here, explore these rocks, go into little crevices. And I had that underwater cam with me, so, you know, go home, check out that footage. You guys saw it already. Hope you guys liked it. And uh, one more thing, I just got these hats in. Check them out. If you guys wanna buy some hats, wanna buy some shirts, hit me up on Instagram or something like that, Real D Outdoors, and we could uh, reserve something for you. I don't have a lot in stock right now, but uh, we could definitely reserve some for you uh, if you let me know ahead of time. So I'm gonna work on getting my website up, but uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.